It's taste test time! Today I have Lily Valenzuela who is a reporter for Ahora Si and uh, we are going to try two limited edition flavors from Thomas and this is the company that makes the English muffins and bagels. So on the bagel side they have maple French toast bagels and banana bread English muffins. Can you imagine such a thing? No, I had to kind of twist my head around the flavor description. I was like, what? It's like all of the things you love about breakfast thrown into a baked good. So do you want to try the bagel or the muffin first? Ah, uh, the muffin. All right, try the muffin here. I'll take this one. Okay. So I did toast these lightly. Mmm. Mmm. So I love their English muffins. Not going to lie. The nooks and crannies, I'm a sucker for. Give me lots of butter all day long. Mm-hmm. But, and I do like banana bread. Do you like banana bread? Yeah. Next, what I like about this one is that you get the banana flavor, but it's not like too sweet. Mm-hmm. Right. It's not too sweet. Mm-hmm. So you could still put butter on it, or you could put butter and jam. Mm-hmm. Um, I did not think I was going to like that one, because I also, also do not like banana flavored things. And mm-hmm. I can see that it says naturally and artificially flavored. So if you're really watching out on the artificial flavors, you might not like that one. But now we'll move on to another naturally and artificial flavored product. Um, these, the maple French toast bagels. So, okay. so this one is nice and swirly, kind of like what you'd expect from a cinnamon bagel or something. Nice and tender. I know bagel snobs would never, never agree to taste one of these, but. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Not too bad. It does taste like Surprisingly, like maple syrup. Like maple syrup, yeah. <laughs> the French toast part of it, I think, is a little bit of a stretch. Yeah. Would you, I mean, I guess what, what, what makes something taste like French toast? Cinnamon, um, syrup, but then also the egg. I mean, so I think it does, it does kind of have a hardiness to it. Mm. I would, but I yeah, would I that's also like the fried part. The fried, yeah. That you don't and get. And the butter. <laughs> and the, could you imagine making French toast with these bagels? Mm, that'd be interesting. The texture might be a little too hard. Right. I mean, you could put that in a panini press or something and probably mm-hmm. have a really good one. I would say all in all, That's I would recommend right. these. Mm-hmm. Wouldn't you? I mean, yeah. I wonder how much sugar content. Well, let's they see. Have. Uh, this this one, one has eight. And this one four. The, and this is for a, that's for a whole bagel. Yeah, Which is actually bad. surprisingly low because bread has right. some inherent sugars to it. So. Right, and it's cool. probably less sugar than the banana nut bread. Right, and not as much, uh, you know, as you slather it in maple syrup. So we'll leave that up to you. Well, thank you, Lily, for joining me today. My pleasure. And we'll see you next time.